Yeah, really a great game the other night. Played really well, really accurate. Um, you know, very poised in the pocket. Didn't let the rush get to him. Kept his eyes downfield. I thought he played really well. And also last year, he had some great games last year too. How do you feel like you guys are doing? Uh, heard that uh, there was a lot of work inside the walls there on uh, defending just obviously the passes and things were going really quick with your second game. Well, I think any time you look at this game and a quarterback like this and an offense like this, they're going to throw the ball a lot. And uh, they do, they've done a great job of it over the years. They did it the other night down in the hostile environment. So we're going to have to play the pass really well. Do you guys are on your way to that? I hope so. With an inexperienced guy in the corner, how big is it for the front seven to continue to get pressure on? Well, it always is no matter what game, but especially this type of game, you know, because of the amount of passing and trying to get after the quarterback. We're going to have to play really well up there with our front because um, we're going to have to leave a lot of guys deep in order to cover these guys. You have to do, get into some kind of a guessing game. Wait, every, I guess every one of their runs is an audible. You have to kind of try to figure that out, what his tendencies are. Well, I think, you know, I don't think it's a secret. I think that at the line of scrimmage, you know, versus certain looks, they try to get the runs for their advantage. They're not real multiple in the looks they give you. They just do them really well. And they've they done it for years. They run the same plays over and over, and they do them really well. Looks like today you guys um, just went in tennis shoes, no helmets. Is that um, for any particular reason? And will that be continuing on Thursdays? Uh, every week, you know, every day we're, we're looking at our team and where they're at. And uh, our, our team, you know, at, after yesterday was really tired. Um, you know, and I think that the, the price we paid with the the numbers where they're at because of the facts where they're at plus the injuries I think has taken a toll on our front line guys because they've, they've taken so many reps um, over the course of camp and then over the course of uh, this week. So I think that obviously as a head coach you want your team to be fresh and the last thing you want to do is run them into the ground knowing that they're going to play a lot of plays, uh, especially our defense players going to play a lot of plays. So, uh, Given that, have you second-guessed at all tackling in fall camp or doing that, or did you feel that this was necessary even with the injuries that happened? Well, I don't think. I think once you make a decision, you can't second-guess it. You know, you got to go forward with it and look at the positives. And so I look at it as, you know, I think we ran the ball well the other day, and I think uh, we stopped the run well the other day, and I think that was a product of, of being physical up front during camp. You mentioned being tired, but how would you like the way the team just came out of practice this week, attitude and on the field? Yeah, they were great. You know, they're they're, they're excited to be back home. Uh, that's an interesting trip. You know, when you go on it uh, last week, and so they're, they're back and they're in their normal schedule. They got class, and staying in their own place, and getting ready to play. The uh, NFL season starting. Do you hear much from the guys that have gone out? Have you been in contact with any of the guys in the last your last three seasons? And check in with you or anything? Yeah, I mean, once in a while you you know you get a text because they watch a game. You know, that game was late for a lot of them. Um, you know, Matt texted me after watching the game. And, um, but yeah, a lot of the guys they'll, they'll usually text a lot of times before and give good luck or afterwards when, when they're uh, after they watch it. You were talking yesterday about how the nickel is really the base defense at this point in the Pac-12. For you guys with that two-four-five alignment, would you be able to? Do you, would you feel as comfortable sitting in nickel if you didn't have two? Lyman like George and Letter who could be that disruptive. That two, four, two, four, five, that was the first time I've heard that. <laughs> For you guys at all, not so much in terms of scheme, but in terms of what you're capable of doing? Uh, I don't know that we know that necessarily yet, just because you know, we haven't played with him in this scheme in a real game. So um, hopefully he'll be able to play. You know, he was obviously doing really well before he, before he uh, got hurt. So whenever he gets back, I'm sure he'll fit in well. Uh, with Silas possibly returning, how could that change the, the running game? I don't know that it would change much. You know, we ran more times the other night than we had in three years here. So um, I think that was a product of the way the game was going and how we felt our defense was playing um, during that game. And so, you know, that's a great thing to have. And so hopefully we'll have that again Saturday night. Let's do one more. Any uh, different sense of the offense this week, kind of having yeah. one quarterback taking most of the reps at the ones? Uh, no, I, no, I don't think that. Um, there's, there's any sense of difference in both guys have been taking reps.